All right, so good morning. Good morning. My name is Mr. Maurice. I teach seventh grade math and science, and I also work with instructional technology here at the junior high. And so we're here this morning to kind of have a conversation about summit learning. So can you introduce yourself to me? My name is Chloe Teague, and I'm a sixth grader. Okay, very nice to meet you, Chloe. Um, I guess first of all, because I've not been in summit learning this year, um, just describe to me what Summit Learning is and then describe what your normal day is. I would say Summit Learning is like an online learning on computer um, because it's basically like going on pace and like instead of doing on paper, it's like much less stressful because you know you have to go on your own pace. When you're on paper, you, when you take a test, you only can take it like once and then you're done. But like on Summit, you can take it as much as you can to pass stuff. Okay. I, I find it very interesting that you talked about it being less stressful. Can you talk a little bit more about that? So like we have this, this testing thing it's called fo Power Focus Areas and like it's basically like testing on a computer and uh, it's like you take it and then it's like one through ten questions and then you uh, like see how much you missed and how much you got correct and um you can take it like as many times as you can to pass it and make like an eight out of ten or a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten and then you basically keep on going until you pass it on paper, like once you take a test on paper, you basically only take it one time and then you're just done. You can't take it any more times. Okay. I think that's that's reasonable. Um, now, of course, your teacher could always offer you the opportunity to redo the paperwork, but in your experience, does that happen very often? Not very often. Whereas with the computer, it's, it's a little bit easier to get that done because you can just go in and and do it again. I like that. I think that's interesting. Um, how would you describe your personal experience with Summit Learning? I would say it's like hard and easy at the same time. Okay. Because like um, science and history I haven't struggled with, but math and reading I'm having, I'm doing pretty good. It's just some of the folk series in history and science are really difficult for me. Okay. Do you think it's difficult because maybe you don't like those particular topics, or or is it just that it's because it's difficult? It's just it's difficult. Okay, that's fair. Um, what's one word that you could use to describe some learning to others? I would say easier. Okay. Why did you choose that word? Because it's just easier because you can go on your own pace, so we don't have to write all everything down, so we don't have to hurt your hand or anything. And if you're like me, you're going to lose everything you write down anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fascinating. So let's pretend I'm a school board member. And we have a school board meeting tonight, and I have to vote on whether or not I want to, I need to send Summit Learning to seventh grade for next year. How would you tell me to vote? I would say do it for seventh grade because I like Summit and it's just much easier for me, in my opinion. Okay. Do you think it's that way for everyone? Not for everyone. Everyone has their different opinions. Some people don't even like Summit. Some people love Summit. Some people just like mm, kind of like it. What do you think is the cause of people disliking Summit? Because like when there's projects overdue and then they're just really stressed and then like um, you have a red project or a focus area that just so stressed out because they have to get the green and then it's just really stressful to get the green. So would you say it might be because students are being 
required more this year to get their work done, whereas in years past, they've kind of been able to just sort of scoot by, whereas now it tracks everything and you can't scoot by. You have to get your assignments done. Do you think that's a fair statement? Okay. What are a few specific examples of Summit Learning that you could share with me? Like, okay, so the focus areas is like tests that you do on computer, and there's additional focus areas that you can just basically extra work or like harder than the focus areas. And projects are basically like, um, Projects are basically like um, lessons we do to show like what we know so far. Okay. That's great. And I've seen some of the things that you all have been working on, specifically some of the websites. Have you personally designed a website? Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. I think that's pretty cool that at sixth grade you guys are designing websites and because you know, I love technology, so to see as a sixth grader you're getting those design skills, that's pretty impressive. And I think if, if people knew about that, that would be something that would be highly impressive. Um, talk to me about the relationship with your teachers. Do you think the relationships with your teachers have changed? Not much. Okay. So you don't necessarily feel any closer to them because of summit learning? Kind of, and I kind of don't. Okay. Do you think they understand your needs more? Mm -hmm. Why would you say that? Because it can show them, like, um, if you're really struggling with any subject, they can tell if you're really struggling with history, science, reading, or math. And then they can help you with the power focus areas if you need help. Okay, wonderful. Um, what about your grades? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they better this year? Or are they? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. That's a good sign. Um, do you think going forward, do you think you're going to be prepared for next year? Or even thinking long term, do you think you're going to be more prepared for high school? I would say I'm more prepared for high school because... Additional focus areas can help us like move on to like harder sub like harder things we're gonna learn into other grades. So okay. Basically. Great. Um, so would you want summit learning again next year? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, so if you had to share one thing with Chester County, with the rest of the school with the world about what you all have accomplished this year with Summit Learning, what would you share? That Summit is a really wonderful online learning because you go on your own pace you, and you have difficult, you can just, you know, just keep on going if you're having difficulties with it. It's just, I just think it's really wonderful that we have Summit. Okay. Anything else you want to share? No. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you speaking with me this morning, um, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. So okay. thank you. Thank you.